this video, we're going to learn how to use some additional basic functions in Excel. So we want to find the highest value of a data set. Let's say we have these expenses for January and we want to post the highest value of all the numbers in that column. So to do that, you can either go here under the Home tab, under Auto Sum in the drop down, you choose Max and notice it's going to select a bunch of the cells. Now, in this case, we don't really want the total here. So all we have to do is we select the values that we want to be included in that selection and simply hit enter. That's one way of doing it. I'm going to delete it. The other way to do this is by simply start with the equal sign and then we want to find the max and then press tab and then just simply select the references, the numbers that you want to include in your calculation, and then hit enter. Notice the highest number is 5,000. If we change this to 12,000, we're going to readjust the column. Notice that it's posting here that that's the highest number. Now you can repeat this in the other columns here as well for the other months, or you can use, as we learned in the previous module, you can replicate this formula that is in this cell by using the autofill feature. So we hold down the mouse on the bottom right, drag it to the right here, and it will give us the actual values. Now you'd say, well, how do I calculate the minimum, the lowest number among all of those numbers? You can either go under the Home tab here and then choose this common functions minimum, or you can simply type in here equal sign, min, so formula start always with equal sign, then there's the function in this case is the minimum tab, and then put in the range. So there are three components to each formula. Hit enter, notice the lowest number here is 13. If we wanted to find the same thing for the other months, simply drag this to the right, and you'll have this posted with the numbers. Now let's say this was one dollar. Notice that has been updated here in the bottom. Again, try to get the concept of how this works. Even if uh, you're trying to figure out some more advanced function, you can look it up. You can use a tell me feature up here for that particular function. You can search the web and such but the concept is going to be very much the same. You're going to look through a set of data within the ranges of the data, performing a specific function relating that data. So in this case, we want to get the average. We don't know what the average function is in Excel. We can simply start by typing equal, start typing whatever it is that you're trying to do. In this case, we want the average. Notice it gives us an explanation as well next to it. Double click or simply press tab and it select the range of data. Hit enter and this is the average for all of these values. Now, if I wanted to count how many items do I have in here? So if you look here on the top right under the home tab, you have count numbers. Go right here click on insert and then count numbers. Notice it does count and then select your data. Notice there are nine. If we go to the right, notice in this case there are only eight. And the reason for that is because there's no value in C14. This should give you a very basic overview of using Excel, just the uh, basic functions. That's how what functions you typically use to calculate taxes or calculate budgets and things of that nature. You might use multiplication and division, which we'll cover it in just a moment here. You could use this in business, for example, to calculate the expenses for various uh, sales of cars and such. So in this case, we simply do the equal sign there, sum the range and then replicate it for all the other ones and such, and then find the average as well in a similar way.